I'm just going to play around with this. Actually, let me use... These are like, um, they're little foamies, like a little foamy stamp. And then, and I've got, um, this is wax. Only put a little, cut off the a little bit of the corner in case I drop it or something. I don't want all of them to fall out. So, I don't really know what I'm doing here. I do know that that's pretty hot. Well, it may not be hot yet, but we'll find out. And I'm just kind of messing around because I did, I did a little bit right here on this. this is, these are the little sequins I got in the, um, a swap like little confetti well they're not little they're actually quite big like a quarter size but anyways I kind of want this on the outside yeah we're just messing around Let's see what happens hopefully not to get any burnt <laughs> Ooh. I could probably put this on low I have it on high I kind of I tend to go too much um, versus not enough. So and it's immediately, of course, drying. Um, this thing right here, the iron is, I don't think it's actually for wax. <laughs> uh, I think it's for like sewing and stuff, which is cool too, but I'm using it for the wax. For melting the wax, obviously, I'm doing it. Um, but yeah, I'm just messing around. This is literally, literally the second time that I have used this, and see, I don't want it um, super thick over the the writing. And mainly, um, I don't know if I'm gonna leave it so um, thick on here because I'm going to let it dry and then like see how bendable it is basically is what I'm going to do. So it's like it's kind of like paint really I guess you could say but um, yeah I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> then I'm going to let it dry and then um, put some uh, scratches in it and then go over the scratches with some white paint and see how that works. So it just gives a little bit of extra, um, it's not sticky. Um, I don't know, you could probably just blob a bunch of glue on there and get the same effect. But you can't do this. Well, maybe you can. Dang it. Um, let me see. Like this. I'm just going to make some marks. I don't know if I'm going to use, this would be like a tag or something, I guess. Get my fish ready. Okay. Probably should have wet that. Um, 
Well, maybe. I need to fine tune it a little bit, but. I do like that it is um, flexible. So, this looks shiny from the camera, but it looks very, well, it does look shiny in person too. <laughs> um, some of it looks matte. Okay, now. I'm just going to let a little bit of paint dry on it. Okay, yeah. And then see if I can... I'm pretty sure I'll be able to scrape that off, so I may have to use the wax for something else. Even though this isn't a big deal. It's not like you get an art journal or a card and you're like, oh, let me just scratch it with my finger now. <laughs> uh, so... What am I going to do? Oh dang. It's like smoking. I think I'm just going to turn it off. <sighs> um, some other things I've been doing. I don't know if I can find it. But I got a free motion. Uh, what's it called? Foot thing. For the sewing machine. I'm find my first little, oh, there it is. First time I used my, sewing, my the free motion part of the sewing machine. Made a little, a little flower, um, which was awesome. Because uh, it just opens up so many other doors. Like cupcakes, stars, hearts, you know, flowers, whatever. Um, so I'm going to keep this forever. Maybe not outside of that, because I'll probably break that down or just put some more stuff on there. But anyways, um, cut this out maybe and keep this my first time doing that. Because this, this is um, probably going to be used a lot, unlike the wax. I mean, the wax is okay. I'll just have to practice and do stuff. Um, so I did this. And it's a little bit harder. Let's just show this one because I messed up on this one. On this side. I think I um, did it too fast and I like skip stitches. But there it skipped. You can see that. Skip there. Skipped like over here. And skipped mm, right there. <laughs> but uh, or that's a skip. I don't know. The sewing machine is. Uh, still a bit confusing for me <laughs> but uh but anyways so that's the top side and that's what the back side looks like and then um, I did it again I went slower and more consistent speed and it did a little bit did a little bit better uh, so yeah I love that I like that I like the loops just going I like that looping it um, but with the paper, um, it, so it's much easier to do the free motion on the fabric than it is the paper, which is fine. I've been meaning to use more fabric in my projects. Uh, I love paper a lot. I love fabric too. But, um, but anyways, that looks kind of weird. <laughs> Okay, let's just change that shape up a little bit. Oh, now it looks like a person with one hand, one arm, another arm. Like, ah. Okay. Maybe I shouldn't have done that. <laughs> okay. Well, whatever. Okay, now let's go back to here. Does it scratch off? And it does. I wonder if you can seal over the wax with something but I do know it's like if you scrape really hard the wax the wax does come off um, so 
I don't know. This may better fit uh, uh, finished art pieces that um, that are going to go on a wall or something like that. I don't know. I don't know. It could go over little elements and stuff. Kind of like how you would do a wax seal. But, uh, okay anyways we'll see anyway this was this was fun um hopefully i'll do more do more of those and then this i also got a bunch of these um i cut this one down a little bit uh and i'm gonna do something for that i mean i mean just tie a knot, a knot but um I kind of wanted to do more than a knot. I'm just gonna get it there. I wanted to do, um, I don't know, do some kind of something and then sew it on. Ooh. I have like two pieces and sew, sew one end on, one end on the other, and then tie it or just straight up sew it on here. Um, but I want to make it um, to where this has room to grow so it can get a little bit bigger and that's this one signature okay that's it I just wanted to mess around thanks for watching